figured if I'm gonna do something so crazy as just like stop my real job and become an artist, I guess this is part of it, isn't it? It's like when people ask me, oh, what do you do? I'm like, uh, and then I eventually tell them that I do like art and stuff, but it's like so hard now. I'm sure like one day I'll get there, but like now to like say, oh, I'm an artist. For some reason, it's really hard for me to say it. But I guess it's like getting that confidence to like say that and just be like, yeah, I'm an artist. Like that's my job. So someone comes up to you in a pub and says, what do you do? And your immediate reaction is, well, some people don't see it as a real job. <laughs> No, but like, <clears throat> I don't know. I'll just say, oh, I do like, you know, tutoring, but then I also do art. If you say that you're an artist, it's like you're fully like committing to that lifestyle and like that like scariness of like, am I gonna get a page? Like, you know, when am I next gonna get paid and stuff like that. So I think it's like kind of letting go of those like normal safety nets. So like keep you safe and like just being like cool. I'm just gonna go with it and hopefully it works. <laughs>
Oh, so it's not the actual art bit that it's about, it's the having to focus No, it's the me part. Ah. Yeah. And you'd rather let your art do the talking? Yeah. Because with art you don't have to talk, unless you're being filmed, then you're going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I overthink things, like, a lot, so... I think if I can learn from it, then it kind of helps me get through it. Instead of overthinking it and then beating myself up that I did something wrong. I think that's why I like watercolors though. Because it like, it's so easy to make a mistake with watercolors and you can't really fix it with watercolor. So it kind of forces you to like be okay with making mistakes and be okay with learning from them and starting over and just just doing another one. But obviously it's like sad because you've put so much effort into it. And each time you go through the same process, you're like, oh, can I fix it? And you really try, but then you're just like, okay, it's too far gone. And then you, you know, throw it away. And either you kind of give yourself a little break and then you start over. But the end result is always better than what you started out with. Although, like this, this stuff, this mistake, I was doing one of my other pieces that and I started rubbing it here and it created like these two like blotches or whatever the paper started peeling I thought I was going to throw it away but I just kind of leave stuff hanging around sometimes just to kind of in case I go back to it and think of something else and then I was like oh what if I get those pieces that came off and like re-stick them and then also create like texture and depth to it which I thought was quite cool and I'd never Obviously lots of people know about that, but like for me, I've never really done that before. And it's probably not even like the best painting or the best picture, but to me, I don't know, I, th I, I really like it because of the process of how I made it and how it was actually like a mistake and I would have thrown it away. It's a lot more than a, just painting. And I guess it's just finding those people that do think your work is cool that's you know and then that's all that matters really come on dylan come on this was all like a jungle so we tried to flatten it as much as we could and did some stuff um that was also down there it was like a whole jungle so we cleared it redid the decking and um, cleared all the bushes there and then obviously where the decking is up there that was two empty ponds which we've well we didn't put the deck in but yeah yeah I like the garden in summer I'm always out here I like plants and things yeah not as much as I I wasn't as out as much as I would have been normally because we had so much stuff to do inside as well so I did lots of that yeah. but hopefully next spring and summer I'll be out here more Studio, is this studio? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nan Cave Studio. Yeah, my yeah. band's studio. And when I do art, I listen to you play. Yeah, and sometimes when I'm doing recording, I have to tell you to shut up <laughs> and switch off the heating <laughs> because you can hear it through the mic, so you have to sit upstairs with your coat on and not making any moves, sudden movements. <laughs> it's good to have someone creative upstairs doing stuff because it makes me sit down here and be creative because there's like a, you know, I know that I don't want to bother her because she's in the zone. So it's, it's okay for me to come and get in my zone. Even when I'm having like a bad day, like I'll go for a walk with him and it'll be fine be fine because he's just so cute yeah look at him he's so cute I think he's also like my consistent thing in the day because obviously when you're like 
doing things independently and doing your own thing. It like changes, every day is like different. Um, but with him, I know that I have to take him for a walk in the morning and I have to take him for a walk in the afternoon. So it gives me that routine, I guess. How does Richard contribute to your creativity? Because <laughs> he's cute. What? <laughs> he helps me be brave. Helps me go out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Which I guess is a big thing if you want to like properly do stuff in the creative world. Um, is to go out of your comfort zone and try new things and kind of do things that might scare you, I guess which he helps me a lot with. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel having your life filmed for a day? <laughs> uh, it's making me conscious of everything I do. Yeah, and... I'm <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming and I just let it happen as well. <laughs> because it's not part of the Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I was just talking about what to have for dinner and I felt embarrassed that I suggested sausages, beans and French. <laughs> and usually I'd be like really excited about that, but now I'm like, oh God, now the world's judging me for wanting a kid's meal for, for dinner. When we uh, <clears throat> go on holiday and you have to fill in that form that says, you what your occupation is when you go into a country. Yeah. What are you going to write on that form? I don't know. Would it make you happy if you wrote the word artist on it? Yeah. Would it make you feel cool? Of course it would. <laughs> What's stopping you writing that word? And Given that three days a week you're an artist and two days a week you do the tutoring, so technically you're more of an artist than you are a tutor. Yeah. <clears throat> So what are you going to write for? Well... Hi, I'm Jack Elliott Hobbs, the maker of this film. I release a new documentary like this one every month. Please let me know what you thought of the film by leaving a comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified about my new videos. Thank you so much for your support and I hope this film has inspired you to take a leap of faith and make something.